Is it that name? It's that name. Alright, so what this means now is we're going to have a bunch of these images, right? Guarded, protected, unsplash, yelp. Yep. Yeah, so all... Um, Mirha, hey, thank you for the sub. Appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. And what's up, Lancelot? Um... Doubler Dope. Thank you for the follow. Oh, Mira. Thank you. Refactor. Enjoy that. Hell yeah. Dude. What's the occasion? Appreciate it. You don't need a, a special occasion. I was just curious. Yeah, thank you. Uh, TK, thank you for the follow as well. You just blew my mind. See, enjoy that, Refactor. Whiskey and Coca-Cola. The whiskey is not the Woodford Reserve. It's Basil Hayden at the moment. Yeah, we're going through right now and just making sure we got some accessibility stuff in there. Alt tags for images. And... Yeah. We got just a little bit more to do. Oh, and this isn't profile.
And then this is team member. see their name team member dot name okay uh, so alt is this Forget to put an alt on this. Should be good there. Not sure why we were getting uh, issues over that. So then after that, Yelp image. We got two places in which we use that. Uh, let me get another album going, sorry. It's actually the same thing. That one's good too. Um, Yelp image. Unsplash image, we should probably double check. Ah, 
cool. So, unsplash image. I feel like we did protected image, but let's be sure. Just in case we bring that back, I as well have it there. Cool. I believe that has solved the majority of our uh, accessibility warnings in the app. So at this point, start thinking about the architect thing because you know any other alt tags would be individual like one-offs in our task selection so we're gonna call that good editing a meal in a restaurant that's gonna be huge so that's actually a larger feature that we're gonna want to start off separately for the time being I think maybe we pivot just a bit and think about how we could write our wrapper around architect. Just as a good, you know, don't want to burn out on this project too much. Don't want to feel like I'm spinning my wheels either. So we take a look at something else completely and come back to it and bam, 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 hammer out more of the stuff that makes sense as we see it. And some of these Android bugs are trickier. Definitely have to fix them, but I just don't have my Android devices set up right for those either. So we need to do that. I don't want to waste your guys' time while I'm doing some bullshit on the phone. So instead, all right, let's head over here. We started creating a board there. They called it Agile Board. Well, thanks. What are we going to call it? We're going to call it We don't need to decide the name yet. We have a list. But for now, right, we'll give it a background, some architecture based. Yeah. Thanks, cheeseburgers. And we're going to call it just architect wrapper for now. Don't want to worry about the template or any of that BS. And let's just think about what all does the architect wrapper actually end up being? It ends up being a couple things together. We're probably going to make it a mono repo, but let's think about like individual packages, right? We're going to call this board planning, or this uh, column. Give it a cover, give it the blue, call that good. All right, so here in planning. Um, uh, individual packets. Right? CLI. So in this checklist, we're just going to say packages. 
And we might just condense all this down to a card. I don't know. It's fine. We can leave it for now. Main thing is we're going to have a package for our data wrapper. And we're going to have a package for the CLI tool. And I think I want to create a package for... Um, request, response, scaffolding. And then there's going to be a basic boilerplate. Which is really something that the CLI tool just scaffolds, but we may end up having it as its own just repo or package or whatever, right? Breaking it out and being too specific there is kind of screwing us. I think actually part of the CLI tool is the boilerplate, but we end up having more that the CLI tool needs to do as well. Nah, man, it's fine. We've done CLI tools. I'm... We're not looking for fuzzy FUD like that. Let me go look at some of the other stuff over here. It's the open API YAML, the schema stuff. Building the arc file. I think maybe we call that just like arc utils. And I think I want to make all of this like a mono repo. Who out there has recommendations on node mono repos, right? Do you have any like preferences? Right, is yarn workspaces enough? Do we need to do something else? That's what I'm wondering. Boilerplate, TS config, base. Um, route template, there we go. Let's 
Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, the boilerplate ends up having a bunch of stuff. Yeah, let's go look into it. So... Node monorepo tools. Right, Yarn Workspaces is the famous one. Oh, Bit, really? You recommend BitSource? Or BitSource recommends Bit? Probably not related, but questionable. NX is an option. We don't necessarily want it to be React focused or Angular focused. Rush. Yeah, we just saw Rush. Is the project maintained by Getty Lee? Lerna, we've definitely heard of before. Last time I tried it, I definitely messed up. Basil, oof. What? What's that have to do with anything, cheeseburgers? Are you trolling? You got warnings last time, man. It seems like you're intentionally being disruptive. <laughs> I like how they named it Pants. That's pretty good. That was a good name. Oh, Pants is for Python. Ah. Please? <laughs> That's a good name for a build system. Please build. <laughs> That's genius. Oh, that is genius. <laughs> uh, 
Sorry, excuse me. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I know, cheating. Bar. What? All right, we got a bunch of these to look at. Uh, we skipped this song. Too slow. So we don't care about this in a React context. We just want to build stuff. Good cheeseburgers. I want to know what it has to do with anything we're talking about. Did it need to be said? I really want you to think about something before you say it. And I want you to stop fragmenting your statements as much, right? Type it, think about it, then hit enter. Or don't. You don't have to hit enter every time, man. Cheeseburgers, could, you don't seem to be able to have a day here where you're not just fucking up. I'm tired of it. What does that have to do with anything we're talking about right now? I said the word fragment, and you go off on some tangent about fragmentation. Why? I'm talking about your chat messages. Just because I'm programming doesn't mean you can just spam us about any random fucking programming thought that crosses your brain. Stop. What's up, Rodra? You say that, I'll believe it when I see it, cheeseburgers. The fact that you are not capable of having a normal conversation based on context is very upsetting, and I don't want to put up with it anymore if you can't fucking deal with it, dude. Figure it out.
All right, so. Setting up a mono repo. So we could do PNPM as the package manager for smaller deploy or smaller downloads. It's so used on some big stuff. What's up, Hyper? How you doing? Yeah, Rush might be the option. Let's look at Buck. So this is definitely for like multiple languages. Just looking for Node. Right, this gets just as complicated as Basil, right? Pants. It's a good name, right? So this is mainly meant for Python stuff, though. We have a bunch of repos that are intricately tied together. They're going to depend on each other. And... We need to figure out a way to manage multiple repos. Because some of them are going to be released as NPM packages, some won't. We need to find a good way to manage all that. Eh, they all might be NPM packages, actually. But go for the boot camp already, man. Stop asking for tips. Just do it. build. I want to use this one just based on the name. You just blew my mind. What's up, Miko? How's it going? And Tiger, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Want, please? Yes, please. <laughs> Genius. Nice. See, so yeah, this is a 
multi-language thing doesn't even have node in there. This is not what we're looking for. Which is a shame, because it had such a good name. But it's competing against like Basil and Buck. So this seems a little more up my alley here. This is targeting Node specifically. All right, so Bolt, that's an option for sure. Boar. Looks very much like a Go thing. We even see the Go gopher. Could just be written in Go, yep. Pretty go specific. Uh, Lank instead of Link. <laughs> nice. What's up, Doom? How you doing? Whiskey and Coca-Cola. The whiskey is Basil Hayden. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was cheap at Costco. That's the main criteria. I just don't trust him to be objective. So I'm going to read this on my own first, at least. Any of these that we didn't see. Could just use BNPM directly? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. That could be cool. Something to manage the, uh, the versions for us. Yeah, so I think that's fine. All right. Let's pop open, or not pop open, but let's look at our list. Um, and yeah, honestly, Herodra, if, uh, if you've got the link, we'll take a look. Okay, monorepo.tools. I was going to keep scrolling until I saw something like that. Uh, we've got a few of them. We'll narrow it down here in a sec. I forget Turbo Repo is useful in this same uh, context as well. So let's go look at the table. Hold on. Let's look through what we got. Buck is really for more than we're trying to go. I think Bolt actually solves a bunch. The fact that Bolt wasn't in that other list is interesting. Let's look at Garment real quick. It does seem very JSTS focused, which is good. Spago. That's for like pure script though. All right, so we're not doing pure script. This might be something we do separately. Uh, but we need more music. Mm -hmm. 
boom. <clears throat> and yeah, version number manager. Uh, I believe NX would actually give us something like that. We have Rush open already. Mono repo tools, cool. I think Rush is just more complicated than we're looking for. No license, eh? Yeah, that's enough. Let's go look at the NX GitHub. They're only getting a 75 as well. Garment scores pretty well. And then, yeah, Turbo Repo. I haven't looked at that, really. Turbo Repo and NX both get a 100. Bolt gets a 77. Garment gets an 88. And yeah, both Turbo Repo and NX get, you know, pretty much perfect scores. All right, let's put it to a vote. Just raw Lerna, NX, Turbo Repo, and Bolt. What do you mean on? There are other ones that do more than just JS. I'm looking for just JS myself. If you want more than that, there's all sorts of stuff. There's Buck, there's Basil, there's Please, right? I am looking just for JSTS. That is the constraint I have imposed on it. I don't need something complicated enough to run C++. love to learn and on can we keep language specific shenanigans out of here please 
We have a specific constraint we imposed. That's it. We're not trying to do any fucking cheerleading here, man. I just now pasted it. Hold on, man. I got interrupted by a couple people pulling some bullshit. You can vote for more than one, just like you saw me do. Turbo Repo in the lead. Looks like Turbo Repo's winning. Anyone else need the link? Just let me know. Remember, you can change your vote if you want to. Pretty much it. Going once, going twice. Voting is closed. So yeah, that's the order in which we'll investigate this thing. Turbo repo first. If it solves what we need, then boom, we're done. Worst case scenario, we pivot to NX, and then it, if that's still feeling weird, we maybe check out some of these others. And yeah, make ship happy. That sounds like a Google to me, man. Your first instinct should be to look it up, and then once you've looked it up, then we can discuss what you don't get about it. I'm sure there's more than one result.
We'll just call it Architect Rapper for now. Hold on. We'll do NP, uh, PNPM. Uh, we tried it once for one thing, it didn't work out that great. But for this one, it might be better. You just blew my mind. Hey, thank you for that follow there. H-O-R, welcome. Fine, VS Code, let's update. Basically what I said. I just did I used less words to do it. <laughs> 